Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a collective beauty haul that I got at Ulta and I went in for one product and I came out with a bunch of products and I'm going to get through those as quickly as possible. Um, but the reason I went to uh, Ulta was this particular pencil and this is new packaging from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is their Brow Wiz pencil in brunette and the one I got before was the burgundy packaging so they changed it on me and hopefully it's the same pencil because I was obsessed with the other one and I've used this one already a couple of times and it works perfectly so either way it doesn't matter this is the one that I got it's black with like rose gold um, metallic print on it and on one side it's the retractable pencil and on the other side is a brush wand and I really really love it because it's easy easy to blend now if you have been watching my videos you know I think I've mentioned that I have bought a couple of their pencil pencils like wooden pencil eyebrow pencils and I'm not sure if they even sell those anymore but um, I had to return two of them to Ulta because they were so dry and every time I went to it would like break and fall off and I'm like really I couldn't even blend it it was just really harsh and I kept tugging at my face like it wouldn't even glide onto my face so I was really disappointed um, with their products but I saw their like new stand it was like all fancy at Ulta one day this is with the old packaging and I tried it on my hand I was like oh my gosh I have I have to give it a try now because it just went on so effortlessly um, and I didn't want to go with Spiked from MAC again because I felt like it was too dark for my eyebrows and then I didn't want to use a gel liner because I thought it was too intense. I just wanted something that was going to be really natural, blendable and like not so like pronounced. I know there's a, it's like really popular to have like loud eyebrows right now and I do sometimes do like the concealer underneath but I, never, I try not to do it on top too much because I just don't want it to be like pow, I've got eyebrows that are talking to you before my eyeballs and my mouth. So. Anyways, I got that brow pencil and I'm obsessed, but while I was on the hunt looking for it because they changed the location of the stand somewhere else, so while I was looking I found other stuff and I found um, some more makeup, nail polish, and then hair care stuff. And as you can see, you can see the ombre in my hair, I don't know if, I, don't, I feel like it's not as bright as it was in one of my last videos and I think it's because my hair is tightly curled and that's why my hair looks a little bit shorter as well. Um, but, and then probably my hair just bleeding into the blonde. You have to take care of the blonde and really massage it really well and use color treated shampoo and conditioner to take care of the color in your hair. So anyways, I had to buy another box of the L'Oreal Paris Feria um, Ombre, Wild Ombre Kit and this is in the number 60. So if you have not watched that video yet, I'll be linking it here and then also in the description box down below if you are interested. Speaking of um, color care. I did pick up the, uh, this is they're st still wet. I'm like, my seat is wet from holding it right here because they're straight out of my shower. I bought these, um, I bought these, all this stuff before. So I've had this with me for about five days now. So I already washed my hair a few times with this and it smells so good. This is L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Color Vibrancy, Lord have mercy, nourishing shampoo and conditioner for color treated hair. So I have the shampoo, wait, shampoo and conditioner, and it smells so good. I know it comes in a bunch of different other colors, like if you have thin hair, if you have thick hair, something like that, I'm sure. But this one that I got in particular is for color treated hair, and the water is getting everywhere. But it smells so good. I love shampoo and conditioner that you can smell it. And you can see that it's really clean, but you can smell the scent of the shampoo and conditioner well after your hair has dried. I love that because I'll be in line, maybe I'm too close to them, or maybe their just hair is just like smells that intense that I can smell their clean hair. And I love that. I want my hair to be like that. Speaking of uh, clean hair, I bought this new dry shampoo, and I'm obsessed with dry shampoo. I don't know about you guys, but like I have tons of dry shampoo because I want to try it all. Um, the scents are like different for like my different moods, not so much different moods, but like different occasions because some are really heavy, some are really light. Um, this one smells really, really good. I can't even pronounce the what it says or what it's called, like the name of it, but it comes in, I've seen two different um, scents and this is cherry and it just smells really, really good and not only does it absorb the oil on your oily days, but this is fresh, clean um, hair. So I just use it for like volume purposes. I'll pick it up, spray it, and then give it a good shake. 
and then my hair will stay big. So I really like that and I recommend that. I got that one for me and um, my best friend Crystal. I also got her another product that I wanted to try and it smells really good and I took this with me on our spa day for her birthday and this is from Bamboo Beach Summer Ocean Waves. You can find all this stuff at Ulta. Summer Ocean Waves and this is in the scent Tahitian Coconut. Anything co I want to eat my hair after I spray it. It smells so good and I just like the way it smells compared to um, the surf spray from Bumble and Bumble it's like legit I feel like they capture, captured it from the ocean and you spray it on your hair and your hair gets like really dry and like crunchy um, I know that's what it's supposed to do so it's doing its job and it's really expensive um, but this one makes your hair smells, smell good but does the same effect um, gives you that like nice tousled beachy hair so what except for this one's cheaper and it smells really good so I definitely recommend picking this up instead of the Bumble and Bumble surf spray um, if you're interested in like a beachy wave product um, let's see what else did I pick up I picked up some more nail polishes this one's from Deborah Lippman and it's called Candy Shop I wasn't too impressed by it but I think I'll wear on top of a pink um, nail polish instead of by itself because I felt like I needed almost like four coats to get it true to the bottle and I didn't like that. I don't like nail polishes like that when I have to use too many coats. Um, especially expensive nail polishes like this one. Um, I feel like two coats should, should do the trick and it just didn't do it. What I have on my hands right now is I eat mainly lobster from OPI and I love it. it. On the bottle it has like a kind of like a hint of gold shimmer but I don't see any of that on my nails but I didn't care. I just I love the way that it's, it's like kind of bright but still not loud at the same time. Not like this China Glaze um, neon nail polish. This is Sun Worshipper and it's just like uh, really really bright and I love China Glaze for their bright nail polishes. Um, if you don't want to spend the $8 on these, go to Walgreens and get Sinful Colors. They have all the neon colors. You might have to, you know, stack the coats um, one or two more times than China Glaze, but you will save the money because these are about like 6 to $8 depending on where you get it. And Sinful Colors is $1.99. So just a little information. Um, I picked up two lip products and of course nude lips because I was looking for Ferris Nude from L'Oreal Paris and I couldn't find it and that's like my favorite and I always look for it when I'm in the store because it's like scarce you never find it anywhere and when I do I'm like gonna get it because I know I'm gonna use it so I got their Nourishing Nude in their um, Color Rich line or the Color Rich Balm and I love this I have the clear one and I enjoy it so I love the fact that it has a little bit of nude color so that's perfect and then this one is eternally nude and this is the packaging and I think it's one of their long wear lip colors and I love it I love the applicating wand too that looks like this and it just I feel like it covers so much more of your lips and nude you can't go wrong with nude I love it uh, one other product that I got would have to be the bronze booster from Physicians Formula. Now I'm not sure if this is like the one I was obsessed with that is just all brown because I don't know if they're just trying to get fancy and they tricked me but I love it. It's perfect because it has like a light shimmer to it too so it's perfect on your cheekbones down the center of your nose, keep it bow and maybe a little bit on the forehead without looking oily and just looking dewy and like fabulous so I picked this up and I've been using this and I love it and this is in light to medium um, and that's pretty much it guys that's I got all that stuff looking for my eyebrow pencil that's ridiculous so hopefully you guys saw some products that you are interested in trying um, let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see um, reviews on anything or any of your requests I'm always open to take those. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!